the biggest thing that I want you to understand is that the guitar tick increased stamina damage. So go ahead and block my attacks here and you'll see that they actually take quite a lot of stamina damage whenever they're blocking. Yeah. That means that you need to counter more often with this weapon because of the fact that you're going to be taking increased stamina damage when you don't counter. Okay. On top of that, the stamina damage that you deal is actually very low because the Qatar do very little damage. So, it's like a double whammy in the stamina damage department. You're taking more and you're dealing less. Go defend yourself. Okay. Um... See, see how I missed on that one there? Yes. Is that my aim of this whole thing? Yes. So, okay. for a lot of different weapons, not just the guitar, you're not always going to be hitting straight. Um, or, or even where your crosshair is. You're going to be hitting, you know, at an angle, or even towards the right or left, or above or below the crosshair. Especially with the rapier, I uh -huh. noticed that. So... You kind of have to get a feel for where the weapon actually is rather than depending on aiming on the middle of your screen. Does that make any sense? Yes. Okay, so just get used to aiming where the weapon actually is on your screen rather than okay. worrying about that. Because the hitboxes in this game are exact, right? I can obviously hit like towards the right of you um, and not hit you at all. But have to be absolutely precise with where the weapon hitbox is. Mm -hmm. I don't know when I should be stabbing with my left, or, sorry, initiating with my left or my right hand. Well, there's essentially no difference besides the side it comes from. So obviously, depending on which direction your enemy is blocking you, it will change on which direction would be the most ideal form of attack. So for example, go ahead and block my attack. Okay. Yeah. Right? So I'm able to hit around your block because I sort of tricked you into thinking, okay, I'm going to attack to the right, and then I switched up and attacked to the left. And that's just an How example. How did you do that? I simply just fainted a stab to a stab. But the thing is, this oh, weapon, my. its stab comes from the side. Um, it, it isn't just like a, a straight, you know, uh, perpendicular line towards you. It actually does come at a little bit of an angle. So when I'm stabbing at you, you obviously notice that, and you're like, okay... I'm going to try and block towards that direction so I don't get hit. And then that creates an opening to where you're vulnerable and I can attack the other side before you're able to move your block to that side. The guitar function in a similar way in that they can stab at sort of an angle. And if you can abuse that, then you can hit past someone's block. So if you notice that somebody's blocking towards a certain direction, or if you want to fool them into blocking that certain direction, then you can use the opposite side attack to hit past their block. <laughs> Am I making sense here? Yes. Okay, good. So the idea is that you're trying to get them to block in one direction and then hit them in another. And that's okay. pretty much it. This even works for overheads because overheads come at an angle as well. So overheads typically are not straight. So obviously I can aim at this side and then come with a feint from that side. Uh, but you know, it depends on the weapon and also uh, the opponent and how likely they are to uh, fall for something like this. Okay. The special on the guitar is special. Um, it actually hits twice. So if you go ahead and press the special button, you'll see that you do two different strikes. Yep. The first strike, well, I should say both of the strikes actually do the special stun, um, which is pretty cool. Because that means that the first strike can stun someone if they block it, and then the next strike will be a guaranteed hit. Now, for some right. reason, the game knows this, so it cuts the damage of the second strike in half if they blocked the first strike. So go ahead right. and hit me from the first strike, and you'll see I can't block the second one. You get a guaranteed hit. Okay. It, you still have to aim it, so... Technically, it's not guaranteed. Sometimes they might be pushed out of range by the first strike if they're too far. Or maybe you just missed the second strike and then they, you obviously didn't land it. But that's pretty much how it works. Each strike does okay. 30 damage. But like I said, if you land the first one and they block it, then the second strike will do half damage or only 15. If you land both, though, you can go ahead and hit me with both. You'll see that you do 30 damage with each strike, adding up to a total of 60 damage. So that's pretty good. Nice. And I think that the special is probably its best tool because it's the only move in its kit 
that actually stuns people. All of the attacks besides the special do not stun people. So it's good to know that. 